Hello Ratbags, the update for Grounded is here on the test server, so you can try this out if you're on the Xbox Insider program or you choose the beta branch on PC and get a preview of the bees, the mosquitoes, the firebugs, the brand new weevil shield, the sti bee stinger, all that stuff. I'm going to be showcasing most of it in this video today, it's a bit of a long one because I'm putting it all in one. Brand new perk as well and I've got some sneak exclusive first look at what's coming next we are going to get a new variant of ants coming into the game it looks like black ants are coming i can show you a preview of stuff i managed to dig through also crossbows are going to be a thing in the future too of course if you don't want to access all that stuff and risk losing your saves or whatever you can wait for this update to hit it's probably going to hit at the end of january they do aim for the end of the month with the grounded and obsidian devs so yeah looking forward to this one like i said a bit of a long video i do kind of just have a bit of fun exploring that first and then start using some cheats from a mod application i've got on pc where i can pretty much cheat spawn stuff in and lastly, if you're wondering why there's no sound, I didn't turn it on when I was recording. I recorded for about an hour and a half, so I didn't have to redo it all. And I figure I'm going to be doing some small videos anyway. I'm going to showcase the bees, exactly what kind of damage output you get from them when you use the bee armor. I'm going to work out all the perks. So they're all going to come in smaller videos. So if you don't want to watch a long video, you can wait for them and it will show you everything you need to know about all the new items and new creatures. Do like the video, find it useful, make sure you subscribe for the best in survival games news. Let's go, the grounded brand new bees update. But here we go, so remember, the bees are neutral. They're not gonna attack you unless you try and take them. And obviously they're gonna be going for plants, trying to get pollen and stuff. I don't think they're necessarily gonna be just flying around where the roses are, that's what I kind of believed, but you guys pointed out to me, duh, that they go for any kind of pollen. That's how that's how pollination works. Bees are like the main instigator of it. So you can see they're flying around quite quite a large area. Now I've already seen the firebugs. They're above the water. That kind of makes sense. I feel like firebugs would be sort of skimming around the water a little bit like a dragonfly. Pollen. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Ah, ah, it's a mosquito. It's a mosquito. It's a mosquito. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Oh my god, oh my god, the proper ch it's chasing me. It is massively chasing me. It's kind of weird. I expected the mosquito to be very differently... Oh, it is differently coloured. Uh, I thought it was like the model. I've shown this to you guys before. I was the first person to leak and show you that the mosquito was coming months and months ago when the game first launched. And since then, it's been... Oh my god, it's still coming. <laughs> leave me alone. Just leave me alone, mosquito. Leave me alone. Why is it not leave me alone? Like, how far have I got to run? I mean, so far, you can outrun them. So that's good. So I guess they're a bit like a spider in that respect. All right, I haven't got any weapons, like, really much else. Oh, no, look, I've literally just got my sword and a few bits and bobs I've been messing around with. Oh, go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, man. So, look, there's the health-wise from it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. I'll have you up, mate. I'll have you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want some of this? You want some of this? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come back, come back, come up. Where's it gone? Oh, no, oh it's on the ground, it's on the ground, it's on the ground. I was, it's, man, they are quite colourful, actually. No, I'll give it their due. So I was worried that they hadn't recoloured them because when they first leaked or, like, they were moving around, they were very sort of brown and grey and translucent. But they've got nice red markings on them and stuff. Okay, they weren't too bad. That weren't too bad. I obviously managed to kill it there without losing too much of my health. And there we go, we've got a mosquito blood sack and a mosquito beak from that one. Ugh, nice, nice. Okay, let's go and see what else is going around. Now, I did see the firebugs over that side. I mean, that's pretty cool that we've we've encountered that like almost straight away. No rust sprouts. This is obviously my test world, guys, as well. This isn't my like Let's Play world. I mean, to be fair, I haven't had a Let's Play world for a while. It just hasn't been enough to keep me going, playing grounded. I, I'll be truthful. Like, there's lots of stuff to do if you really, really like building and, and making up your base in survival. But I kind of have done all that. I kind of just want to see what new content there is and if there's stuff there to keep me coming back. So I'm really hoping one day there will be stuff like taming or pets and stuff. I think that will make me play this game on a daily basis much more regularly. Let's jump up here. Let's go and see what's going on with these. So we've got more bees over this side. They're definitely mixed different models as well. So they're not as cute as the models we've previously seen. So um, we can do it there. But yeah, I, like I said, this is my test world. So I could have my cheats on and stuff, but I thought, no, we'll, we'll see what it's like. I want to kind of see what danger level the creatures are. So the mosquitoes will just attack you the minute you're close by. But what about the firebugs? I didn't really understand whether or not the firebugs were going to be dangerous. Is that mos mosquitoes? It is. I should have gone across my bridge. I built a massive bridge and I didn't even go across it. 
Let's go through. So I don't think there's any new areas in this update. That's the other big important thing as well. It looks like they have just added all these creatures. Now I ain't gonna lie, I told you guys in my 2021 grounded video that I couldn't really see them adding all the creatures at once. Like it would be one creature one month, then the next month, then the next month. But I'm really pleased they've added it all together. That might actually mean that development might ramp up a little bit because I think everyone wants that. I understand they're a small team and stuff, but I think we all want to see more content. We're hungry for it because uh, it's a great game. We just want a little bit more. Now, uh, these are mosquitoes. So, yeah, I want to kind of see what range we get. Like, if, if, I, if I do this, is there a way to get closer without them kind of hit, seeing us? I've got about half health left. Three quarters nearly, I guess. A third. And they do land and they do walk around as well. That's pretty cool. So they will be gathering something from the ground, I'm guessing. But I definitely saw the fire bugs. Obviously, the fire bugs only come out at night time. Is that the situation? Is that the situation? There's a bunch of them. They've definitely got their own flight path. So we've already established that the fire bugs are going to be appearing over these rock areas. Oh, look, there they are. There, there it is. I want to get to them. Man, they're quite high. They're really high. Like, how, how are you ever going to get hold of these bad boys? And then the bees are obviously much more in the garden areas. And then we've got mosquitoes, which... Oh, my God. It, oh, he must have seen me. He must have seen me walk off. Uh, this one hasn't got any red markings on it. This one's just got black on... This one is exactly like the base model. And then it turns red, right. So maybe that's like a mechanic. Maybe if it turns red, that's when it's going to attack or that's when it's going to be its most dangerous. Like I'm surmising here. I'm, I could just let it hit me for a second. Let's see what happens when it hits me with the red one. Right, well, it's, oh my god, it takes a big chunk of my health. I don't really want to die because then I have to come and get all my stuff back again. So we'll just keep hitting it. As long as you keep hitting it, it seems like it's... Oh, no, 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 it's proper. It's proper having me up now. Oh, there we go. We killed it again. We killed it again. So, yeah, that's interesting. I guess it's the blood sack. Of course, it's the blood sack from when it's hitting you. Duh, man. I'm no good with insects and anthropology and just understanding basics of the world. Like, you know, mosquitoes suck blood. So as they attack you, their little bodies are going to fill up with blood because that would kind of make sense. All right, you know what? I said I weren't going to use cheats because so I wanted to just look around, but I do kind of want to see what's going on with these firebugs. So let's get up to the top there. There we go. I just built my, my bridge of pow power. Um, I'm quite pleased we've got a reason to start coming here. Like, obviously, we know it's under construction. It could be a while. It could be months and months before we see this all developed back here and what's in there. I've never really been in there, not without just flying over anyway. But yeah, I still like the idea that you've got to maybe come here if you want to get some of the bug parts for them. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's going to be other places. We will have like kind of little fly around. Now, where are these guys? They did they did fly over a minute ago. Like I so said, maybe it is that they only come out at night time. I will flip it to night in a second just to prove that. Obviously, that's where I think fire bugs should be coming out at night time. It's interesting, the bees really do go everywhere. Look, the bees are right over the lakeside. They're just, they're all over the place. They're all over the place. So yeah, they've changed the model. They're not as cute. They're definitely a little bit more realistic. And I think that's good. I think, you know, you don't want to make this game too cutesy. I think there's a lot of cute creatures already and stuff. And so having having sort of more dangerous creatures not be too cute. I think that's that's important too. Um, oh, look, there's loads of pollen. So you can see the pollen on top of the flowers now. Well, that's new. That's not a thing before. So that this is why they will gather it. So are mosquitoes gathering pollen as well? Probably not. I don't think they can't be. So it's only the bees. I'm very interested if we grab some pollen near a bee whether or not it's going to actually uh, come and attack us or, or want to do us damage. I've gone and give myself some full restore. Right, there's a bee there. Maybe we can hop onto this one and we can gather the pollen and see if they turn angry. Because I've got a feeling they are. Because because it, it'll be a bit like um, the ants. Oh, look, you can see it on its legs. You can see it on its legs. This is the first time we've got a proper close-up. Oh, look, see the friendly. They're not doing anything. They're a little bit interested. Oh, man, they're big. They look rideable. They look like you could ride these bad boys. You know what we've got to do now, though. For science, I've got to attack one, right? I've got to. It's the law. It's the law if I can get older one. Come here, little bee. Where are you going? Where are you going, bee? Come back. Oh, no, I've dropped down here. There's one. Oh, come, 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 come. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. They do bumble around, usually like when they're a bit drunk on eating too much nectar and stuff, I, f I swear. Again, again, my animal skills and my bug knowledge is not that. Oh my god, he's gone into the ground. This might be my chance. This might be my ch Nope. Oh, there's loads of them. They're loaded all over the place. Now, what I was wondering if there was going to be a beehive. There it is. There's a beehive. There's an actual beehive. So this is something I was wondering. I was wondering, like, 
uh, is there going to be a home for him? It didn't really feel like the, the roses were kind of the right thing. I don't want to drop down because I want to be up high to check this out. Let's go and check out this beehive. Oh, this is cool. So there's no new areas, but they have added a home for the bees. Is there going to be a home for the, the mosquitoes? Do mosquitoes even have homes? Are they like usually like dark bits of wood and do they just they just kind of fly around, don't they? They don't really have like a, a home. I know they don't have a hive. I'm not that stupid. But do they live under like dark pieces of dank wood or do they just live anywhere that's, you know, just just the right temperature? So are the bees all going back like ants? So yeah, this is the other thing as well. The bees are meant to be like the dangerous threat, a bit like the ants are. So I don't think they're going to be a dangerous threat like ants. They're neutral. But if you're stealing their pollen, then just like the ants, when you're stealing some of their stuff, like their ant eggs, they'll get angry. And the idea is that some of these flying creatures will attack your base. Because that's the big thing is, a big part of Grounded, which we haven't really seen yet, is the base defense. And we know there's loads of traps. I showed you guys all the traps before that are still not in the game. And it looks like that's going to be a big update, where well, base defense update. Um, and it, you've got to protect your base. That is going to be the future of Grounded, where you've got to protect your base from enemies, from enemy creatures. And so I reckon it'd be a good idea, yeah, if bees, if you're stealing their pollen, you'll have to make sure you've got a base that you can defend against. And it stops some people from being cheesy and having bases that are just super high. Because when you do that, then they you can sort of just not worry about ants as much, even though if they destroy some lower pieces, there's ways to cheese it and build on certain things and you don't ever have to worry about them actually really getting to your base and that. But this is could be good. Now obviously it's a big it's a big beehive there. I am gonna go in fly mode. I do not want to have to spend half an hour building a bridge across there. Man, they all come in like yeah. It's yeah, it's derpy as hell. It's derpy as hell. But it gives us an idea, it gives us a flavour of what to expect. So there will be a proper gorgeous looking beehive here. The bees will come and drop off their pollen, I'm guessing. Oh, there's loads of them around this area. Loads of them around this zone. So if you need bees to for the fur, for the armor, it gives you full damage. That's the that's the other big thing with bees. That's what it's meant to do, is to stop you taking any full damage. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like the idea of this that will change in the coming update maybe it will be in change by the time the actual update hits uh properly for everyone maybe they're just doing that just for this but yeah that will definitely change so a little little peak or gander what is that that looks like a lego piece uh puzzle piece it's just a black hole it's just a it's just a, sh a hole shaped it's just a weird weird piece it looks a bit like a face that is not an accident. That is not an accident. That has been placed there. Like there's there's nothing else wrong in this entire map where you've got like just a oh no no you have maybe these are markers. So these are markers for like future tunnels. Oh man, we're delving into a lot of stuff right now. I reckon that's what these are. You know, I reckon these are markers for future content, future underground tunnels. Be good i could do some clickbait with that I'll just put that what is this big letters if you see that on any other youtube's video you know they copy that idea from me yeah just 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 saying just saying um i still want to see the the bugs i don't think like i said anything else has changed it doesn't look like from the patch notes there's, there's quite extensive patch notes i could go through a few of them i think i probably will but i did want to just have another little look at these guys and see what they're up to how they're getting on like it's pretty cool the models are pretty cool i like them i like them I feel like their legs could move around a little bit more. You know, like, I swear bees, like, rub their face quite a bit and stuff. It's like a, a tick thing. So that, that could be good. But it's the first pass. It's the first pass. I'm sure they'll they'll add and improve it. Definitely the mosquito looked like it was better moving. Like, it adds better mechanics to move. These guys are kind of just like, they are a bit like gnats. They're just, like, flying around. Whereas when we take a look at the mosquitoes, where are they? See, yeah, I feel like mosquitoes would live here, like a dank piece of wood just floating in the water. These guys, all right, they are still moving a bit derpy, but when they land, you can see their legs and, and things moving a lot better, a lot nicer. And I've seen the animations, they do rub their face, they rub their antenna sometimes as well. So, yeah, that's another thing. Um, I guess it is, it's just about finding the firebugs now, where the firebugs are. Oh, do I want to have one scan? Let's just have one little scan and see if mosquitoes are spawning this is where i kind of felt mosquitoes would spawn i feel like this would have been a better place and i was wrong this is where the firebugs this is the firebug so it's just hovering in place i guess memory usage so i don't think they're going to be like this is because i'm using a cheat 
But when you're um, when you're far away from objects in in games like survival games like these, they kind of freeze them in place sometimes to just save on memory instead of having like loads of different creatures running around causing you to, your your system to use up memory, or if it's console or PC. A lot of survival games do that, like Ark and Gone, and they freeze creatures until you get a bit close to them. So I feel like that's what's going on here, or maybe these guys are just waiting for night time. But that's still pretty cool. Again, I, I'm I feel like this can't be their colours, right? They can't be. I know they may not have great colours on them anyway, so but maybe just being a bit true to life. But these colours still feel just a bit too unfinished. It feels like they're not they're not the right thing. I know they've got red their red eyes, but I would have expected the colours to be a bit different because it looks very they look very similar to mosquitoes at the moment, the firebugs and stuff. So yeah, I don't know if I'm down for this one. It's cool. The model's cool, but yeah, I think that's definitely unfinished. I don't think that's going to be the final form. I think there will be more to it with these guys. Um, since I've done that though, we might as well go and see if we can find any other places. I, they're not going to be in the hedges and stuff. I really don't think they're going to be in hedges. Although the bees do get far. They do go every inch of the garden. That's pretty cool. There we go. Come here. Come here, matey. Come here, matey. Yeah, this guy's like stuck. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So, some nice close-up shots of these guys, which is great. Yeah, fly bee, fly. Yeah, I think these guys need a bit more work too. I like the the fur, but I feel like the face could do with a little bit more colour, a little bit more expression. Oh, that's such a good cool shot. Such a good cool shot. There we go. Yeah, they definitely need a bit more colouring. They do. I don't think that's finished at all. I feel like they've, they've got to add a little bit of purples to it more, darkers, and yeah, I hope so. I hope so. I love the idea that they fill up with blood though. That's a cool feature for sure. Absolutely cool feature. All right, I think we've shown off some of the insects. Um, the firebugs, I guess, it would be nice to see them when they're a bit closer to me as a player. Uh, so maybe I can make it nighttime and we'll see what happens. So the lights have all just come in on. Everyone's put their lights on. So we might start seeing some of these firebugs come out of either this area or we know where they are now, both over at the swamp area. So we'll just run over to the swamp. Oh, I think I see some. I think I see some. No, just bees, more bees. Bees are moving pretty rapidly now as well. That's interesting. Look, they're moving. They're mo maybe so they go back at night time. Yeah, look, the bees all go back at night time. Oh, look, they're all just crowding around the picnic table. That is a madness. That is a madness. Look, they're all there. So that could be, I mean, if you could risk it, we will test that out. I'll probably do some individual videos. I'll I kind of, we'll play around like this a little bit more. And then I'll do like everything you need to know about the bee. Everything you need to know about the mosquito. Everything you need to know about the firebugs. Um, we'll go and attack them all and see what happens at night time. Whether or not we just get absolutely stung to death by bees. Or whether or not it's like the best way to harvest them or, or gather the stuff from them. Because you do need it, as I said, for the arm pieces. Now we know with the, uh, the, the piece for the mosquito, that is for your sword like you've got a special uh, new sword i think shields as well that's a new thing that's been added to the game that's nothing i want to take a look at in a second there they are there's the firebugs so they've got actually a very greenish light on their tails and i feel like they had like red eyes because that's what you was using for the lamp but it looks like they've changed it looks like it's not the, the eye part i don't know yeah let's get down there and see what oh oh i forgot i wasn't in god mode Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. There's one, there's one, there's one. I want to get up close to it. I want to see if it attacks me. Oh look, and there it goes. It's just emitting its glow. Ah, oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. And it's got red eyes now. It's not... Oh, no. No, it didn't hurt me. It didn't hurt me. Don't, don't pretend. Don't pretend it hurt you, Jay. You didn't. Right. Oh, oh, they fly out. Oh, they do attack you. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. They literally just fire some. Wow. Okay. What is that about? What kind of. Oh, it's not doing too. Oh, it's like. Is it like acid damage? No, it's not. It's not really. It's not really doing as much. But they, they have obviously got an attack. They have. They're not. They're not defenseless. But again, like bees, they're going to leave you alone. Pushes you back a little bit as well. That's the other thing. It does push you back a little bit. Oh, man, I'm doing this with a bone knife. This is not the one. Not the one at all. Oh. 
Oh, it slows me. I swear it slows me down. I can't move as much. I can't move as much. I don't know if that's a buff that's appearing or maybe I'm just being a bit derpy with my controller. Yeah, look, my stamina is like completely draining. Ow, 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 ow. And it's just not going back up. It's really weird. Let me uh, do full restore. There we go. Kill one, kill one, kill one. Ow. And we got the Bilumescent Goop and the Iridescent Scale. Perfect. Get one more. And there we go. I've got more Bilumescent Goop. Okay. And now we've got the Iridescent Scale. Okay, cool. That's cool. So we only really need to kill B now. And then we've got it all. We've, 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 we've done everything we need to do. It is. It's like a debuff. I swear there was a debuff with these guys. That they do something to you. I wonder if it lists it here. Now there is another new perk as well. And it's a... Let's check the patch notes. You're going to get the Barbarian perk. It's club damage. So if you use a club more. Maybe like the Mint Mallet. Which has been changed to the Mint Mace now. You will get that perk. So let's, let's have a look at it. Strong Reckless. You pride yourself in using the biggest weapons possible. Your muscular arms have no problem swinging clubs with great force. So there we go. That is the brand new perk. It's just one perk added this time. Okay. Right, let's take a look and see what we can actually make with some of that stuff. So you need four pieces of the scales from the Fireflies, five pieces of goop, and three pieces of berry leather. But yeah, I don't like that. I, I prefer the other one. Ah, oh, I got rid of it. They must have changed it. That's a shame. That is a shame, because I, I really preferred the older look. It was like red. They used the eyes of the ladybug, the firebug. I keep calling it ladybug. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm really bad. I'm really bad at understanding. <laughs> Just the basics of insects and their parts. I'm not an outsidey person. I'm a gamer. I don't go outside. I don't do outside business. No, no, thank you very much. Mosquito blood sack you need for the mosquito needle and the heal bassa. Now the heal bassa I think is a brand new bomb that heals you. A juicy mosquito blood sack wrapped so tight in silk rope that it could burst at any moment. It showers allies in a small area with a healing splash of filtered blood jelly. That's so cool. That is one of the coolest things I think they've added in terms of like weapons. Something a bit different than just a normal, you know, grenade that does damage. This one's going to heal you. So you need two of them. No, one of them. And you need two pieces of silk rope. Okay, we'll make all this stuff in a second too. Just kind of checking it away out right now. So the mosquito beak is the mosquito needle. And that is it. That's the only thing that makes... It's not doing a huge amount of damage, but the speed is massive and it does do life steal. So it's going to give you some life back when you attack creatures with it. You're going to need two of these speaks, two silk rope and two blood sacks. So that doesn't seem that hard. You saw how I took out two mosquitoes. You only need to kill two of them and you pretty much get yourself a new, a new weapon. So the mint mace, as I said, it's changed its name now. It's not the mint mallet, it's the mint mace. And the weevil shield is here. This is the new one. So you make it out of weevil parts. I'm hoping you'll be able to make loads of shields with different parts. And it'll all give you different stuff. That would be cool. If there's different levels to it. But you need grub hide, crude rope, and raw weevil meat. Okay. Okay. That's a bit odd. So weevil shield needs weevil meat. I guess because you scoop out the meat. And then what you're left with is the shell. And that's what you can use as a shield. I'm trying to think of it logistically. That's good to know. The stinger spear is... Been there. This is the full one now. This isn't the rotten version. So you can see it does what nearly one, two, three damage, zero stun, lots of speed, lots of critical hit chance. You're gonna need five B fuzz, one B stinger, and four silk rope for that. So you've got sprint distance with the B mask, the B shoulder pads, and that's so this is their final form, guys. We've had this in a while. You had you had to spawn it in, not just the rotten set, but you've been able to spawn it in as well using cheats if you're using the software that I use. And uh, we've got the Firefly headlamp. Five luminant group. That's quite a lot. So that I mean, I kill, I just about got f two available from killing two of them guys. So you're gonna have to kill quite a few of these. So I guess it's like a high tier item. You're gonna have to work hard to get this lamp. And then I think that is it. I think that is it. Stuff firefly. So you can now make that properly yourself. You just need mite fuzz. Why do you need mite fuzz? I guess you stuff the the thing with fuzz. That's the idea. Is that you get a firefly and you stuff it with fuzz. I'm guessing that's that's the idea behind that one. Um, stuff B, same sort of thing. You stuff it with B fuzz. I don't know why you wouldn't stuff it with my fuzz as well. Why not? Um, yeah, there we go. So the best part is, as you can see, the armor pieces aren't taking up space in my inventory anymore. Whoop, whoop, whoop. As long as you've got them equipped. I think if you unequip them, so let's try this one. Yeah, then obviously they will take up space still. 
but at least the pieces that are equipped won't take up space and that kind of makes sense so you'll be able to take another couple of arm sets with you now and be able to carry a lot more stuff with you they are going to add like backpacks i think or better backpacks in the future that's what i heard but um yeah that's pretty cool oh researched all items oh god damn i've just done it in one go now oh nope i'll tell a lie black ant black ant armor piece this is brand new set guys oh the black ant parts oh see normally it f shows up with like a little exclamation mark so now we've got to go for everything there we go oh spoilers black ants black ants might be a bit dangerous ah oh, this is good black ant parts b files so this is going to be like tier two and armor this is cool this is really cool okay 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 right let's see what else there is then i was like nah there won't be anything else the lure arrows gas arrows yeah they've not worked very well okay so nothing really going on there with the tools no nothing else going on there with the harpoon gun or the bone trident there's nothing like new oh, i got super excited there i did I ain't gonna lie i got super excited there we go, the black hen. So it's going to give you damage reflection. That's pretty cool. Pollen puff screen removes you from enemy sight for a short duration. Oh, okay. So that's something brand new as well that's going to be coming in. So maybe you will be able to get pollen and you don't want the bees to see you getting the pollen. So you, you'll use this to get extra pollen or it just keep you secret from other, other creatures for a while. That's the wizard's hat. They still haven't changed it. Obviously, the picture is a wizard's hat, but the description is still the marksman's hat. Buoyancy thingy. It makes things go whoosh. Now, that's something they've not actually added properly into the game. I'm guessing this is going to... Maybe it takes you up to the surface quicker if you use it, if you're underwater. The crow crossbow. Oh, my God. We've got a crow crossbow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's obviously unfinished, so it's not going to be coming soon. Okay, so I've got the B armor. Let's take a look at it and see what it does. Obviously, we know we've seen it before. But yeah, it gives the set bonus of pollen shot. So they've changed it. They've changed the set bonus for bees. They've taken it away. Now, before, when I showed this to you guys a while ago, they had it that it reduces full damage. But now it's the pollen shot. Where's the pollen shot? I guess, yeah, it, it doesn't really explain what the pollen shot is. Oh, this is good though. So it means I'm going to have to do a little bit more science and stuff to see exactly what the side effects of the pollen shot are. Maybe you'll get more bonus from attacking creatures with pollen? No, that doesn't really make much sense either. So the pollen's also on top of the flowers. That's the other thing that we've kind of discovered or I've discovered is that it's all up the top. You might get like one piece that's at the bottom, but the majority of it is going to be up the top of the actual plants now, which again adds more challenge. It means if we're going to have to collect this pollen ourselves. We are going to have to get pretty high. I mean, the pollen, the, there was a pollen holder or collector. So maybe you can put that out and pollen will develop on top of it. But maybe the idea is that you have to gather and harvest pollen. Like you have to really sort of grow it almost. And then and then the bees might come close to you if you want them kind of resources. No, there's no, nothing different here. I'm not getting any pollen bits from killing the flowers. I was just seeing if I could get up really super high. But obviously not. Okay, but yeah, so no more full damage. Although it seemed to, I still seem to think that took, like, I didn't take much health there. Like, there was minimal loss. And that was, that was a fairly high height. So I have to look into that and see what it is. I'll do, a, I'll do another secrets video, I reckon, where we go over a lot more detail. I'll try and spawn in that crossbow and the other stuff. So it worked. I managed to get hold of the black ant legs. So just to show you guys what it looks like compared to the first one. So the knee pads there, you can see one defense, hauling strength. And then the tier 2 stuff is huge. It's like nearly 4. If you don't know, the bars in my eyes, they always go up to 9. I don't know why it's not 10. Maybe it starts at 1 and then the last number is 10. But I've always done it like that is 1. And then obviously 2, 3, 3.5. Three it's so nearly 4 for the next level. That's huge. And damage reflect as well. Does look as well that it also increases your hauling capacity still. So just like the normal regular stuff, let's put it all on. Doesn't look like it's any different though. You can tell there's no difference at the moment in the actual model. Pin cushion. 
That's another set bonus. Oh, we'll try and discover what all these means, guys. But, yeah, at the moment it doesn't look different, but it is different. There is something different with this, this armor set now. Um, I wonder how much you can carry. Just five pieces, just regular. So it's increased it by... Well, it hasn't increased it at all. I mean, that's what it says in the description. But again, things could change massively. But there we go. A nice little a little, a little, little preview of what to come in the next video where I'll be discovering more of the secrets behind this stuff. And there we go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Again, it still feels just a bit uncoloured. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just feels a bit... It feels a bit boring having these colours so light. Oh, it's coming. Here we go. Oh, man. It does a fair amount of damage. Yeah, it's pretty quick. What I would like the mosquito attack to do, if it does hit me, is continuously take your life. So you can see the pattern of it there. So when it's when it's filled with blood, it gets heavy and it drops down. That's what it looks like is the, is the situation with this guy at the moment. Is that's what kind of happens to it. I still want to attack a bee. We haven't attacked a bee yet. To see what actually happens. Get out of here. There we go. We, kill, we killed one. We killed one. Maybe I could throw something at it. So you don't get any pollen if you chop a tree down. Just destroyed that thingy. It didn't really do anything. So it looks like to get away from mosquitoes, you're going to have to go through like big, big clumps of grass maybe. And hopefully the mosquito gets stuck on side the grass so that you can run through. Yeah, it's kind of stopped chasing now. So that's how you get away from them. If for some reason you're low on health, don't have any weapons or tools, you're going to have to find some grass to get away. Okay, the mosquitoes are a bit everywhere now. They're yeah, definitely a little bit more on the wall. Oh, yeah, big red one here. Now these guys have got red in them already. So does that mean they've been feeding? Oh, right, I've got one, I've got one. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, it's angry. It's pretty angry. Okay, a little bit of health. Now, obviously, I've got a big, I've got a big thing on. So let's take this off just for two seconds, and see what kind of damage it does. Go on in, attack me with your stinger bee. Attack me! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Wow! Wowzers! Okay, so yep, yep, we know, we know they they they're going to do you harm. Bees are dangerous. Bees are more dangerous than mosquitoes, it seems. Or just about the same level. So they won't attack you unless you attack them. Or for some reason they're after pollen. But yeah, that needs more testing. And yeah, this is the fire lamp. Yeah, it's cool. It does the same job as it did. Obviously, with it being a bit darker, you'll see it better. So when it's really super dark, it's much more useful. Although it doesn't give as much light as I think it used to. But yeah, I like the old design better. I felt the old design was more red and stuff. It was more interesting. But this is cool. I still guess it still gives you enough light to move around. And it's nicer that you can still now use weapons and stuff and not have to worry about holding a torch. And there you go. There's no side effects or anything like that. You're not going to get any bonuses. And here is the shield. So level one, it's got blocking strength on it. Let's equip it. Goes in your offhand. And that's it. It just gives you that little bit extra. Okay, so it proper holds up as well. That's pretty cool. You can't attack while you're holding it though, but you can stab with it. Let's see what happens with a ladybug. Oh, you've still got a... There we go. So it just does act as another extra defense piece if it manages to do its job. Are you going to hit me? Are you going to hit me, pal? Are you going to hit me? There we go. Oh man, so it only takes like one hit and that's it. Yeah, it will get through. So from, from a ladybug, it can it can take a good hit. It can take a good hit from a ladybug. Just to give you an idea of like how big it is. There you go. And that is it though. That's all it can take. Right, okay. Let's try it on a spider or something. Oh my god. What was that? Are the spiders in the ground? I think they are. That was scary as hell. Or maybe it's just a shadow. Maybe it's just the way the shadows are falling. Nah, def definitely 
Saturn's glitching out here. Yeah, look. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Never add a creature that just comes out the ground like that, please. Grounded devs. Oh my god. No, that is not the one. I mean, if there's a mosquito or a bee, that would be good to test it out as well. So about half. About half. So that's pretty good, though. Compared to, a, like, a, a obviously a ladybug, they'll, they'll do, like, nearly full damage there. Only a small section left. But spiders can withstand at least two hits. Maybe even three before it actually does any damage with you. So it's, it's definitely worth using. Particularly if you've got like an armor set that doesn't offer much armor, maybe you're using it to get around a bit quicker, etc. That will definitely be a, a lot a lot nicer to use. It's, it's, it's okay. It's not, you know, you've still been able to block with lots of different weapons. I kind of hope they, they don't, yeah, have this. Like, other than two-handed weapons, I kind of feel like you shouldn't be able to block with any other weapon now. It should just be shields. And just to show you guys the Stinger Spear, it's one-handed, actually. Or, or maybe if I take the shield out, it will hold it two-handed. No, nope, it's still just one-handed. So you can have the shield and the spear up at the same time. Let's see what kind of damage it does now. It's pretty OP. It's pretty big. Oh! And yeah, I was never going to survive that one. And there we go, guys. That is all the new stuff in Grounded today and a little sneak peek at future stuff too. I will do another separate video. I'm going to work out how to get the crossbow, see if I can spawn in black ant parts, see if I can work out what some of the perks mean now, some of the changes. And I will be doing individual videos for the bee, everything you need to know about them, basically, like how to capture them, how much damage they do. That's the kind of thing I'm going to work on. So do make sure that you've liked this video. Just subscribe for the best survival channel out there for news, guides, and tutorials. And I'll see you at bags very soon.